welcome to another stay at home story time brought to you by the Marietta Public Library. My name is Miss Ashley and today's story time is all about bears. Here they are, bears. I love bears, grizzly bears, polar bears, any bears, you name them. I absolutely love them. Um, if you are excited to read about bears, go ahead and put the bear emoji in the comments or give this video a thumbs up. And we have some uh, three really great books. We have a breathing moment. We have so much to get done. So let's get started. We have to start by saying hello. Can we all wave our hands? Hello, good morning. All right, keep them up. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you this morning? How are you this morning? Go ahead and put a heart in the comments if you are ready for story time. Put a thumbs up if you're revving and ready to go. Let me know what book you are most excited for. We have this bear story time is about bears, but like two of them are about bears hugging. So Hugless Douglas and Bear Hug. I am so excited because these are two of my favorite stories. And parents, I'm doing a new format on how I read my stories. So if you like it, go ahead and leave a comment, yes, or hey, I like the way you read them before. That would really help Miss Ashley out. All right, next up is Little Mouse. You know Little Mouse loves to play hide and seek. So let's figure out what colors we have up on the board. We have brown, pink, green, red, orange, yellow, blue, and purple. The glare is kind of showing up, that's purple. So go ahead, take a moment, think about where Little Mouse might be and go ahead and type it in the comments below with like a heart emoji or just type it out. Do you have luck in your answers? Final answer. All right, Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you hiding behind the greenhouse? Let's see, not behind the greenhouse. Little Mouse, Little Mouse, are you hiding behind the purple house? Purple's over here. Not behind purple. Little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding behind the brown house? Well, there's some bears that are brown. Maybe he's hiding behind the brown house. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, little mouse was behind the brown house. We got that in one, two, three guesses. Give yourself a round of applause and congratulations for all of those who guessed brown. You did such a good job. All right, next up is our breathing moment. Our breathing moment comes from, once again, Breathe Like a Bear from Carol Wiley. Carol Wiley is a really great singer and we use her song, Stop and Go, all the time when we're in person story time. So I'm really excited to bring this breathing moment to you. When we're back open, you can check these out. We have two copies at the library. And this week we are doing Breathe Like a Bear. Let's see, do we all know what a bear sounds like? Good job. And do we all know what hibernation means? You're right, hibernation is when a bear goes and sleeps, not all through winter, but mostly through winter and eats all the food beforehand and afterhand. So let's see, it looks like these bears are hibernating. Okay, so each week, remember we breathe in through our nose, and when we breathe in through our nose, we want our bellies to expand like we're blowing up a balloon, right? Right? That's what we want our bellies to be like. And then when we exhale, it comes out of our mouth and then our bellies kind of go back to where they came from, kind of closer to the spine back. Good job. All right, let's begin. Pretend you are a bear hibernating for the winter. When bears hibernate, they breathe, breathe slowly. Take a long breath in through your nose and let it all the way out. Good job. Take another long breath in through your nose and all the way out. Feel how cozy and safe you are in your bear cave. Take one more really long breath in through your nose and out your mouth. All the way out. 
And you just did a breathing moment with Bear. All right, we are going to get started with our first book, but first we have to get our listening bodies ready and that includes our listening hands. Do you know where our listening hands belong? You're right in our lap. Good job. Ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. So our first book we're going to read today is Hugless Douglas by D David Melling. And this book was written in 2010 by Tiger Tales Publishing which is an imprint of M.E. Media LLC. And oh gosh, this book is just super, super adorable. I cannot wait to read it to you. One spring morning, a sleepy someone let out a big yawn from the back of a deep, dark cave. It was a young brown bear and his name was Douglas. I need a hug, said Douglas. So he wriggled out of his pajamas, brushed his hair, and put on a scarf and went to look for one. My best hugs are big, thought Douglas. So he went up to the biggest thing he can find, wrapped his arms all the way around, and gave it a squeeze. It didn't feel right, Ugh, grunted Douglas. It's a bit too heavy. My best hugs are tall, thought Douglas. So he went up to the tallest thing he could find. He hugged the bottom, he hugged the middle, and he hugged as high as he could reach. Ouch. But it was all wrong and it gave him splinters. My best hugs are comfy, thought Douglas, and he trotted toward a cozy looking bush. He hugged the bush, but something felt very odd. The leaves quivered and trembled and ran away. Give me a hug, cried Douglas. No, bawled the sheep. We're too busy. He scooped up armfuls anyway and tried to cuddle them gently, but they kicked and squirmed and didn't like it at all. Poor Douglas. Why can't I find a hug, he said. If I want a hug, said a wise owl, I sit in my tree and <gasps> let me try, whooped Douglas, and he scrambled up next to the owl, but soon he found himself in a little trouble. Ooh, ooh, said the owl angrily. I only wanted a hug, sniffed Douglas. Perhaps there's one down here. He felt something long-eared and rabbity and gave it a tug. Douglas could tell the rabbit didn't want a hug. He sniffled again and without thinking, wiped his nose on its fluffy tail. Excuse me, shouted the rabbit, put me down. But I need a hug, said Douglas, and I can't find one anywhere. Oh, I see, said the rabbit kindly, come with me. He took Douglas by the paw and led him up, down and all around. At last they came to a deep dark cave where a sleepy someone was just waking up. Yawn. Who do you think it can be? Douglas peeped inside. He had the funniest feeling that he knew that someone very well. Hug, asked Douglas and ran as fast as he could toward his mommy. Come to think of it, my best hugs are from someone I love, said Douglas, and he snuggled into the biggest, warmest arm he knew. The end. All right, next up we have Brown Bear. Brown Bear, what do you see? And I see a little girl named JR. It's my daughter again. We've hi. <laughs> we cannot resist Brown Bear, Brown Bear, can we? No, we're going to show him Brown Bear. Mm -hmm. The kids who are new, this is ba Brown Bear. Okay, do you remember how the rhyme goes? Ready? Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what do you see? I see a 
birdie. A red bird staring at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? Hmm. I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse. A blue horse looking at me. Have you ever seen a blue horse? No. No? <laughs> That's fiction. It's fiction. fiction. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog. A green frog looking at me. He's looking at me too. <laughs> green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a... A purple kitty. A purple kitty looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a, what color do you think is going to be next? Oh my goodness, a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a, Fish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? Hmm, Miss Ashley sees all of my friends looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? You ready? I see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, and a goldfish staring at me. Good job, give yourselves a big round of applause. Woo, the nice big circle. Thank you, JR, for helping. I appreciate it. And give a comment, comment below of the colors you don't understand about the animals. Or they can put a, um, a comment about their favorite color. What's your favorite color? Purple. Purple. And what's mommy's? What's Miss Ashley's favorite color? Yellow. Yellow. And? And I have a second color. Pink. Oh, I like pink sometimes too. Oh, good job. Thank you, JR, for helping me. All right, next up, we're going to do the roly poly song. Roly poly, all you need is two fists. Roll it up and follow directions. You ready? Roly poly, roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down. Roly poly, roly poly, out, out, out. Roly poly, roly poly, in, in, in. Roly poly, roly poly, back, back, back. Roly poly, roly poly, hands back up in your lap. Next up, we're gonna do zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon, okay? All you need for this one is just your hands and to count backwards from five, four, three, two, one. All right, zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you wanna take a trip, climb aboard the rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! And run around the room, get all your wiggles out, go, go, go! And land on the moon, right back into your lap. Oh my goodness, you did amazing. All right, we have to get our listening bodies on one last time so we can read two more stories. Can we have your hands up just like this? Good job. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Next up on our list is Big Bear Hug by Nicholas Oland. And it was published in 2009 by, where is it? Kids Can Press. 
And it's probably one of my favorite books just because it's super silly and cute. I can't wait to share it with you guys. There once was a bear so filled with love and happiness that whenever he roamed the forest and came across another living thing, he would give it a hug. Everywhere he wandered, the bear shared his love hug by hug. He even hugged creatures that bears have been known to eat. This bear could meet the roundest littlest rabbit and he would just stop, smile, and give it a great big hug. No animal was too big, too small, too smelly, or too scary to hug. But what this bear loved to hug most were the trees. The bear never met a tree he did not like. Big trees, little trees, apple trees, pear trees, peach trees, this bear hugged them all. One day, while the bear was trying to hug a beaver and a tree at the same time, he noticed a man with an axe walking into the forest. The bear followed the man until he stopped at one of the tallest, oldest, and most beautiful trees in the forest. The man spent so much time looking at this magnificent tree that the bear thought he must love the trees too. But to the bear's horror, the man started to chop the tree down. For the first time in his life, the bear didn't feel like hugging at all. Then, just as he was about to sink his teeth into the man, the bear stopped. He realized that no matter how angry he was, he simply could not eat the man. It just wasn't in his nature. The bear sighed. And then he decided to do what he did best. He gave the man a hug. The man was not used to getting real big bear hugs. So once the bear let go, the man dropped his axe and ran far, far away. And do you know what the bear did next? The bear smiled and gave the tree a great big hug. And the tree felt much better. The end. All right, next up is our final book of story time. This is Bear Sees Color by Carmel Wilson. And she does like the bear series, like Bear's New Friend, Bear Snores On, pretty much classic books. And this one's all about colors. I mean, obviously it's super cute. And this one was published in 2014. And the publisher um, is an imprint of, um, well, it's a Margaret McElder Books, which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster. So, ready? Give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to read Bear Sees Color. Mouse and Bear are walking. They are chitter-chatter talking. So much for them to do and the bear sees blue. Blue flowers by the trail, blue berries, blue pale. Blue, blue everywhere. Can you spy blue with bear? What kind of blue do you see? The sky? The fish, the dragonflies, you're right. Along the trail hops hare. Howdy ho there, mouse and bear. Hare points up ahead and the bear sees, what color? Red, red blossoms, red cherries, red juicy raspberries. Red, red everywhere. Can you spy red with bear? The flowers, yes, there's a red pail in the grass. Red mushrooms. Look at the red birds in the tree. And a ladybug. Badger's at the pond with his old galoshes on. Look there, Badger bellows. And the bear sees yellow. Mm, drippy, sticky, oh so yummy honeycombs with yellow honey. Yellow, yellow everywhere. Can you find it just like bear? You see the bees, corn and lemon. Look at the sunflowers. Gophers out with mole and they are on a little stroll. Bear spots them by the stream and the bear sees green. Green mint for making tea, green and tasty sweet peas. Green, green everywhere. Can you spy green with bear? The butterflies, the mugs, look how cute those mugs are. I see some green butterflies and some green apples and a nice little worm next to the apples. Good job, everyone. 
Raven, Owl, and Wren lay a picnic in the glen. The friends all gather round and the friends see what rhymes with round. Brown. Chocolate cake, brown and sweet. Brown cookies, mmm, such a treat. Brown eyes, brown hair, friendly, fluffy, brown. Bear. Colors, colors everywhere. Can you find colors just like bear? Look at all those colors. I would love some of those cookies and some honey. Look at all those friends having a picnic. The end. So each week we end story time with a closing song. This time we are going to do one little fish and we get to add a color to it. And we can go as high as many numbers we want and however many colors. So I'm going to use this dice, this die, is it plural? Singular. See how many fish we're going to sing about. Two, that's number two right there. So let's see what color is going to be our first fish. I'm going to bring back my popsicle sticks. Brown, brown's popular today. Okay, you ready? One little brown fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little brown fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. All right, and for our second and final color, purple. I think I need to mix those better next time, ready? Two little purple fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little purple fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop, pop. You all know how to pop bubbles. I think you've all had practice. Give this video a thumbs up if you like to blow bubbles. That's where you get the, the pop pops uh, technique from. Good job, good work. Now it is time to say our goodbye song. Don't forget, we do have some stories on our YouTube page. You can hear Miss Allison and her favorite rendition of froggy gets dressed and we'll be back next week next wednesday with a brand new story time i am really looking forward to having you all there in the meantime can we say goodbye 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 we'll see you soon see you soon see you soon goodbye goodbye we'll see you soon on another wednesday be kind to one another my friends and i will see you next week